friends, for this video I am teaming up with JustAPinch.com to bring you one of their blue ribbon recipes. Just a Pinch is a recipe site where you can make your own profile and post recipes and also peruse recipes that other people have posted. And one thing I really like about this uh, recipe site is that they have a selection of blue ribbon recipes. And these are ones that they have vetted to make sure that they're actually good and worthy of the blue ribbon. There are so many recipes online now and it's really easy to find recipes that are just created for clicks rather than an actual good finished product. So when you can find recipes that you're confident have actually been vetted, it's definitely a win. So the recipe I'm making today is keto mini pigs in a blanket and the dough part of this recipe is based on the original fathead dough. That was a recipe that came out years and years ago and has been a huge staple in the keto community for a long time, but crazily en oh, my oven's preheated. But crazily enough, I have never made, or up until prepping for this video, I had never made fathead dough before. Just for whatever reason, it had always slipped off of my radar and I just never got around to trying it. So I'm super excited to be making it for you in this video today and doing these little mini keto pigs in a blanket. I'm gonna use my favorite brand of hot dogs, the Teton Waters Ranch hot dogs. They have really good ingredients and they're 100% grass fed. And let's just go ahead and get going. Okay, I have my microwave sink bowl and my oven, as you heard, is already preheated to 400 degrees. So I love on the recipes, it's black and white. You can't print it out color, but my printer is only black and white, but it has um, pictures for all the steps. I Love that. First ingredient I'm gonna to add to the bowl is mozzarella cheese, and that's the base of this dough. And um, I always use my kitchen scale for measuring, or at least as often as I can, because it's the most accurate. So um, I need one and a half cups, which is almost 180 grams, about 174 grams, I think. Put that in here. Next ingredient is almond flour. I'm using the super fine almond flour from Bob's Red Mill. And we need to do three fourths of a cup and that's a little less than 90 grams. And I did wanna mention that I tried this recipe out using pork rinds in place of the almond flour for those that can't tolerate almonds. I also tried it with the carnivore crisp um, chicken flour and that worked really, really well also. So if you can't do nuts and you want this to be a 100% carnivore recipe, you have a couple of different options that will work. So about 80, what, 84 grams, something like that. Okay, and the next ingredient is two tablespoons of cream cheese. Just gonna mix this real fast before I throw this in the microwave. I love how simple this recipe is. Not very many ingredients, and it's just really quick to throw together. Oops, come back here, almond flour. Okay, I'm gonna microwave this on high for 60 seconds, stir it, and then do another 60 seconds until it forms a dough. Here's what it looks like after 60 seconds. Just gonna give it a quick stir, and it does need a little bit longer to get everything melted. It only took about 30 more seconds and I've got something here resembling a gluteny dough. Although there is of course no gluten in here. Just wanna make sure everything is mixed up. The next thing I'm gonna do here is add the egg and a pinch of salt. This dough is kind of warm so I, I want it to cool down a little bit before I add the egg because I don't want the egg to cook on contact. Put in a little dash of salt and the egg kind of feels like it's not gonna mix in at first, but it does eventually mix in and I think if I get my hands dirty, it'll be the easiest to mix in. <laughs> Just kind of knead it like it's real dough. Very pleasant sounds coming from this dough at the moment. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now we're supposed to let it rest for 10 minutes. See how much it looks like 
a ball of bread dough. Of course, it's not going to rise because it doesn't have yeast in it, but it just feels like dough. That's not something I get from egg white bread recipes that I play with. Um, those are not, they're not dough. They're more like batter. So it's kind of fun to have something that actually looks like bread dough. So the recipe calls for a sprinkle of everything but the bagel seasoning over the top. But instead of sprinkling and like losing half of the seasoning to the pan and letting it sit there and burn, um, I am going to just put some in a bowl and then I can kind of roll my uh, pigs in a blanket in there and hopefully not lose as much of the seasoning. That should be plenty. Okay, it has been 10 minutes, and I'm going to work with just half of this dough at a time. I think that'll just make it easier. And I counted my hot dogs, and there are 25. So I'm going to see if I can cover all of them with this amount of dough. We shall see. I thought trying to do this on parchment paper, like cutting strips, making a rectangle and cutting strips would be the easiest way to get this done. Okay, we'll try that. I'm gonna cut a little bit off of each end and I'll use that for my odd hot dog. And then try to get 12 out of this. Now the monotonous job of just getting these all wrapped up. And I'm gonna roll, roll the top in my everything but the bagel seasoning and place it on my pan. Okay, I did not plan for how incredibly perfect these fit on my pan. Um, I got all 25 breaded or coated, covered, wrapped, wrapped. And these are ready to go into my preheated oven, preheated at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. And um, my oven seems to brown more on the bottom, brown faster on the bottom than on the top. So I'm putting these a little bit high in my oven to see if I can get them to brown a little bit more uniformly. Oh my goodness, look at how adorable these look. They're so cute. Okay, these would be perfect for taking to like a Super Bowl party or a potluck, um, appetizer, cute little appetizer. Oh, these are so, so cute. And seriously, looking at these, you cannot tell that they're not wrapped with like Pillsbury refrigerator croissant dough. They look amazing. So I have been loving this barbecue sauce from, I got it from Costco, but it's the Zero Sugar Cali Gold from Kinders. It's so good. And I think it's gonna be amazing with these pigs in a blanket. So I could totally see having this like at a party, movie night, hot look, like when you want to bring something that looks familiar to like the standard American diet food, but you want it to be just a little bit healthier. This looks like an incredible option. Ta-da! Oh, they look so good. All right, I'm gonna um, take a bite and so I can show you just, you know, I'm only gonna take a bite so I can show you the inside. Give it a little dip dip. Mm. It's so delicious. It's so shocking that there's no grain in there, no starch, cheese and almond flour. And you get this 
like, it's like a um, hot pocket dough or a pastry type dough. It just tastes like bread. It's so crazy. So those are the Keto Mini Pigs in a Blanket from justapinch.com. I'll have the link down in the description below. And I just wanna throw this out there. I know there are a lot of you that watch my videos that are amazing cooks. And maybe you don't have the wherewithal to start a YouTube channel. That is a big undertaking. But there are still ways for you to share your kitchen experiments and your recipes. And justapinch.com could be a great way for you to just get recipes out there and share them with the world. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you to Just a Pinch for sponsoring this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one.